Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, this was not originally what I intended for this video, but I'm going to start it with an unboxing of Not A Knife. This is a box from the great guys at Composite Craft. If you don't know the name, they make C-Tech. It's probably what they're most known for, and a bunch of other stuff. So I have a piece of material that I ordered in here. Uh, Kim, the owner of the company, um, included some samples of some of their newer materials in here for me to work with and play with and just see what I think. So I thought it might be interesting if I did an unboxing and we looked at those new materials together for the very first time. Um, there is a big sheet of fly-eye carbon fiber, because I ordered that for myself, but we'll see what else is in here. Starting off, here is a nice big sheet of that fly-eye carbon fiber material. Um, it is awesomely cool. Um, it's based on a, a carbon fiber weave, right? But then they have, I don't know how they do this, but it's amazing. So I have a lot of plans for this stuff right here. Let's see what else they send today. Okay, here's the mystery stuff. This is some cool looking, it looks like a, a carbon fiber type material. Um, I think this is what they call L2 or LS2 or something like that. So it's a carbon fiber, but now we all know lightning strike carbon fiber that has the horizontal wires. This has wires in a vertical pattern as well. Um, so it's really cool. And they can do all sorts of different colors with it as well. And it's kind of, here's the, I don't know if you can tell, that's a green color down the middle. It's green and bronze. Um, it's really cool looking stuff. And I'm pretty excited to mess around with it. Here it is from the side view. So these are some really cool samples, and I'm sure I can do something really awesome with these um, and make something really great. And I probably will be using this material. I don't feel good about making something and selling it with uh, you know a sample I got free, but what I do feel good about is using it for the giveaway knives. Um, that's really unique stuff. It looks really cool with those wires. Uh, anyway. So we got three of these to mess around with. And they look mostly the same, just little variations in colors and everything. Which is cool. I'm, I'm just pretty excited to use it. Um, all right, so I am getting ready for a road trip, going on a little vacation to see the family back up in New York and Pennsylvania. So I'm going to be taking the camera with me. I'm going to be filming my next video on the road. Uh, I'm not sure what it's going to be, but hopefully it'll be cool, and it will definitely include uh, another contest entry question. So I'm going to turn this off now, and we'll see what we get and how it all ends up. All right, guys. I'm on leave on my trip that I was packing up for. Uh, I'm in Connecticut right now, West Hartford, at my grandparents' house on a very foggy, foggy, uh, humid day. I mean, definitely not as bad as Florida, but still kind of wondering what kind of video I should do while I'm on the road here. So uh, I'm still working on it, still working on it, but it's just a beautiful place to be. I haven't been up here uh, to the Northeast like this since I was a kid. All right, so while I'm hanging out in my grandfather's backyard, um, I guess what I'll do is I'll show you the ridiculousness of this trip in terms of the knives that I decided to carry with me. When I was packing up, I just couldn't decide which ones I wanted to bring, and I just kept adding more and more, and I didn't even realize how ridiculous it got till I was all done. So this is what I'm traveling with on this little two week road trip up to the Northeast. Number one, the Benchmade 7505, which I, I love to death. So this is with me, right? There's number one. What's coming next? My modified military. Um, I don't know why, I just decided I wanted to give this a little bit more pocket time, so I've got this. Uh, Dwayne Dwyer, SMF. Um, I love that kind of the, the unique sort of blade shape that he does on his. So I've got that with me just because. Um, the Hinderer Eclipse, I can't leave home without it now. Um, I love it. I put my, my stock scale back on uh, just for a while. I don't remember why I did it. But man, this thing looks great in carbon fiber. So we got another SMF with the gunner grip. Um, I really like the three-quarter grind blades on the Striders. I like the full flats as well, but um, something about this blade shape really entertains me. Got my well-used and abused and still going strong Sebenza 25. Um, the blade on this is scraped to hell. Uh, I anodized the frame and the scale side a long time ago. Um, but I like it, I love it, and it has never failed me. And it's been kind of in the hard use setup for some time. We've got my 810 with the uh, OD scales I put on. 
this really used to be my number one favorite knife. And uh, lately, I'm not saying it's not a favorite anymore, but as I've gotten more into uh, the Hinderer, it's really sort of been replaced in the number one favorite slot. If I'm going in the field or uh, some kind of exercise or military stuff, I still love this blade. I love the size. I love the weight and everything. Um, but for just day-to-day -day stuff, not so much. I have the uh, Spyderco Southern that I bought with the... Uh, the carbon fiber scale that I needed to fix up a while back. Manix 2 XL, have that, just because I like playing with it. And I'm actually, I'm running out of space on this backpack. Almost done though. Got my uh, Hinderer 3.5 slicer. This, uh, Older um, XM18, three and a half. I've showed this before. Um, when I get home, it's gonna get a whole refurbished, but look at that, look at the stone wash on that blade. That's gorgeous. Um, it's gonna get a whole refurbished with carbon fiber and a, and a nice backspacer, I decided to. And then finally, the one that spent the most time in my pocket for this whole trip is the uh, XM18 that I've been carrying around normally. And this is my new primary EDC. It, it rarely is not in my pocket. So. This guy has replaced this guy as the number one favorite. I still love all my knives, though, and I, I want to rotate through them all, uh, you know, time to time. It's just, it gets very hard because you can only carry so many at once. But anyway, this is the lineup, and yes, I recognize it's fairly ridiculous. Um, most people that have seen it think it's fairly ridiculous, but, you know, I never know which one I might want to carry day to day. So these are all in the backpack for this trip. But again, this one, the one that spends the most pocket time, um, followed by this one, followed by all the rest. Anyway, until I come up with a better idea for a video, just take a look at these. So, um, hanging out in my mom's house in New York right now, in Long Island, as part two of our, our trip. About to eat two of the most New York things you can possibly have. Rainbow cookies, which I grew up loving and I've never seen anywhere else in the country and a delicious freshly made everything bagel with some cream cheese. So anyway guys, I don't think I'm gonna have anything else good for this video on this trip. If I do, I'll make a new video, but for now, we're gonna call it quits. So here's what is gonna be the contest entry question for this video. When I do the blade test challenge, what kinds of tests do you think I should put those blades through? So I'm gonna eat this delicious bagel while you guys think about that stuff. Um, just go ahead and comment with what kinds of tests, uh, what kinds of things you think would be cool to see, what do you think would be good to test those blades out, one versus another, whatever. And that'll be another entry into the next giveaway contest for you. The other entry is still open. So basically all the different entry questions are still open until the very end of the contest, and I'll let you guys know when that's going to be. So feel free to enter the, the previous one with the uh, Kershaw and Coast giveaway if you haven't already. All right, guys. I really wish I could share one of these pieces of heavenly deliciousness with everybody, but I'm going to eat them all. So thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you all real soon.